I wish it. someone said that in the movie. God, wouldn't that be funny? Yeah, they, they if the, dance if Tess, around If it. Tess Harper just said that, we're like, honey, it's no country for old men. Eat your, <laughs> eat your damn eggs. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The assassin. Yeah, Lou and Moss on the run yeah. from the, yeah, insane, yeah, Anton Sugar. <laughs> that was the funniest thing was when I first saw this movie, I was there was um, a guy and his boyfriend in front of me, and it was clear that the guy had told his boyfriend, you have to see this movie. It's so good. And he was really excited. And so I'm watching the movie and I'm just totally knocked out by it. And it ends. He goes, so I woke up and it cuts to, and then credits start. And his boyfriend went, that was fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, you're not giving it a chance. He's like, fuck you. And they just started screaming at each other. And I was like, oh, Damn. man. Like, you could just tell this this guy's boyfriend was just sitting there like, I cannot fucking believe you dragged me to this. Yeah. It was just like, fuck you for dragging me to this. Most people feel like it. Mo- but their movies always have stuff like that where you watch it the second time. More than like them and Kubrick, I feel like, are the most. Like where you see it the first time, people go, what? Yeah, it's like this elliptical thing. And then you watch it again, you go, oh, I see what they're yeah. going for. Oh, yeah. I, I agree. I think what Deacons did with it. And yeah, and just like the... It's just one of those movies where every every aspect of filmmaking is that it's is is at top level. Yeah. The editing, the sound design, uh, the production design. Um, and again, I just I just like the simplicity in which they do stuff. Um so yeah, it's a I think it's a real kind of class, you know, it's like a I can watch it and get inspired and you can learn a lot. No, I don't think they've dipped, yeah. At all, but after I think this and a serious man are the two I like the most of, of that of this era. Yeah, yeah. they're also he's... they're also kind of famously like tight lipped and yeah. interviews and anything. So I can't you see mentioned... them being too effusive. Ways. Yeah, I, I just don't think they're like uh, Bob Dylan or something. Yeah. Like I think they took a page out of that book of like that's this is how you deal with the press. You just kind of say the least amount of stuff. Yeah, you kind of like you don't want to like have to explain yourself but i i what i also like is that if you look at blood simple blood simple is taking place about the same mm-hmm. time they made that in 84 yeah. right? yeah. yeah and it's ta- it, like the characters and like blood simple could be taking place in the next town over yeah. which i like thinking about i had a friend who saw it who didn't like the movie he goes and they clearly stole uh, the coin toss from uh, two face <laughs> I don't Harvey think, Dent. I don't think oh uh, Cormac McCarthy is a big Batman guy. <laughs> I mean, I love the guy at the who he flips the coin with and the I think gas that, station. That guy? gas station. Yeah, I don't even he, know what his he, name is. So he wins. He's unreal. Or like, you would have on someone the on the. You would have him and the guy at the gas station would have reported it, and they're like, "We're on the lookout for a guy who like has a." cattle yeah and his gun a and, and will, uh, prince value of erica who will ask you if he if this man asks you to to flip a coin say no <laughs> and call the police yeah, <laughs> yeah he's he's a great actor yeah man. it's it's like the cynical like this coming <laughs> the, he's like the harbinger of more bad shit that's coming yeah and he gets fucked up but he's kind of like you know he's yeah st- he's still gonna go and he did his job, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that guy where he's like, yeah, the, the roadside guy. Yeah. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'll Uber. That great shot where he blows up the car. Mm-hmm. And then it goes in, so he just creates the diversion so he can get all his supplies or whatever. There's, yeah, just, he just does it. And yeah. You pull him in and then it blows up in the background and everybody. <laughs> but this, this, it's about him getting his stuff. Yeah. You know? I also heard a story from somebody who worked on No Country for Old Men. Um, who said they were shooting the scene with uh, when Sugar after the car accident and the kids are and they were working on that and a guy on a ten speed bike flew through and like <laughs> get the fuck out of my way and it was Daniel Day Lewis <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> yeah but I, who knows if that is true or not but you know this is just what someone told me that he flew through on a bike and said get the fuck out of my way yeah i mean it's one of those things yeah it's one of those things where like that movie happened and suddenly i mean i was on saturday night live when this movie came out and he hosted i think the next year yeah you know and just a great guy just like such a dude you know just like yeah man whatever you know just yeah. like, where do yeah. I? but i think he had which i think is good with a lot of those those actors that or anybody professionally go through some sort of um you know, be uh, like a 
you know, it's just, it was a job, you know, it's like you're humbled. You have the right tools to deal with things. You know, you would see people who get like crazy famous really fast as you get like on anything. And yeah. Kind of go, Whoa. But he just had like, he was super solid, you know, Heath Ledger, Heath Ledger. Mm-hmm. I know Franco read for it. Did he? Yeah. I mean, he, I, he clearly could do the Texas thing really. I mean, he could I do this Southern thing. Mm-hmm. Do you know who shot Josh Brolin's uh, audition tape? Uh, Robert Rodriguez. <laughs> Who shot this? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really well shot. Oh, hey, what so. I like about Josh Brolin, though, I'll say is I think I think Heath Ledger in Brokeback Mountain's a phenomenal performance and great. He's I thought he was an amazing actor. Uh, but I like Josh Brolin this because you hadn't seen him in a, a while. Right. And he just felt like the character. Yes. And I feel like their best stuff to me is always where you're like, oh, I, I feel I'm not going, whoa, there's Josh Brolin. It necessarily, I'm yeah. going like God. This guy feels it's like, like Gabriel the Byrne. You're like, oh yeah, man, Gabriel Byrne. Like this guy yeah. came over from Ireland, and he's just this, yeah. like this is the best he can do for himself. Yeah. One of my favorite shots, just because I remember so seeing it, was when he looks up and you see the when he's at night and he's trying to get the guy water, and he sees that mm-hmm. someone's already been there, and he looks up and you see the one jeep. And he's like, shit. And he looks up and then there's more people yeah. up there. And you're like, oh, shit. I mean, that's <laughs> pure Hitchcock. Yeah. Right. It's, it really is. Yeah. I mean, he also did, um, you know, he was nominated for an Oscar for Milk, I yep. think, the next year. It, his thing was just more like this movie happened. I remember Milk happened. And then he was George W. Bush and Oliver Stone movie. And all these. it was just suddenly he was in all these things. Here American too. Gangster. Yeah. Yeah. He's but He is behind everything in this yeah. movie. He's never... he. You can tell this story and not mention Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. he's, yeah. yeah. and he has he's behind it the entire time. Yeah, which is kind of funny. I like that. I also kind of like the scene with the old guy and uh, Tommy Lee Jones, where he's talking about the other sheriff guy in the yeah. diner, where he's talking about oh, we saw a guy with a mohawk, and they're just kind of <laughs> always talking about. That's a very kind of Fargo-y kind yeah. of thing, you know. But Same I, I for, dug like, it. Yeah. When they- yeah. And he was kind of the best version of that yeah. thing. And now look at him. Yeah. You know, he's like, this is the guy I look up to. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and he just lives in this shithole and he's just waiting to die. Yeah. You're like, oh, this is what I have to look forward yeah. to. So I would also like say Kelly rebounds. McDonald's in there too. I think she doesn't get a lot. I think she's really good in this movie considering that she's Scottish. Yeah. And that accent, I grew up in Oklahoma and I had to tell my sister, I'm like, you know, she's Scottish. And she was like, what? Yeah. Like she, I was like, you know, don't you remember uh, Train Spotting? She's the girl from Train Spotting. She's yeah. like, no way. Like, she she is like uh, girls that I grew up with. Like, all the girls I went to high school with are like that yeah. girl. Like, so I, yeah, she's really good. At- just, yeah, just kind of like well, that scene on the bus where she's like, why do we got to go? Like, yeah. You know, it, it. Your mom is dead. Your mom is dead. <laughs> you know, all that. I, I, I give her, yeah, that she does, she, for someone who did not grow up in the United States, she nailed that. I also think the woman uh, at the uh, hotels, really, where she's like, what do you want? Like, when she's <laughs> yeah. getting mad at sugar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like her. I'm going to say, yeah, I feel like I, well, I feel like I saw those in movies. Yeah. I think so. I mean, yeah, I think it was a little, and I think that stuff works so well, too, without having music in it. Like, just the, the beeping. The it's, yeah, it's like the well, Jaws. I think that movie Cloak and Dagger with Dabney Coleman. Yeah. And Harry right. Thomas has one. I, I You know what? Oh, I, I will say yes. two things I don't like about the movie. And I like this movie. And this is total nitpick. Uh, like there's any overacting I, in this I movie. I will say the I, great, great actress, but the woman who plays Kelly McDonald's mom. In yeah. It. Carla Jean's mom, Beth yeah, Grant. Beth Grant. She is a great actor. She's very funny. I, I, she's one of the things I think there's a little weak link in this. Yeah, like she's doing she, a lot. She, she feels like she's in another movie. Yeah, just so it's get, just Carla Jean's mom, and it's a, like a sketch show. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's, it, it's like she shot it herself. A sketch show. And by the way, I should say that actress is great. I've I've worked. I auditioned with her once, and she's a great actress. And I think the CG in this is a little, the CG deer, there's some CG, this is really nitpicky. Yeah. He shoots a deer in it, and it's a really CG looking deer. And yeah. I always, that's a thing in my mind, I'm always like, I just cut away, I get it. Why, right. Why do I need to see the deer hop and... Great dog that's acting. Seems, that's great dog acting. Yeah. But if you look at this, the deer, it's pretty, it's like the cow gets hit in a brother. Yeah. Where you just go like, oh, that's not a real cow. But I... <laughs> Uh, those are one moments that just me being a nitpicking asshole. Yeah, was like I'll just cut away from it. I don't need. Who won the movie? 
um, humanity. Opinion. No, uh, what? 